Okay, so this sounded like a fun premise to me, just a good idea for a comedy. Kinda light and nothing too serious, but just kinda fun, you know? And the idea here is that there's this black man who starts this tiny little church, or mission, in South Beach, Florida, and the purpose of that mission is to overthrow the white man. And that's where the FBI gets interested and involved in the case. And they get involved in their own ways, for their own reasons, that aren't exactly altruistic. And since this is essentially a comedy and a bit of a satire or farce, more or less focusing on the dubious practices of agencies like the FBI, based on true stories that follow the same kind of logic and pattern as this one. Well, things of course don't go according to plan and slowly spiral out of control. And I'm usually a big fan of satire, and as I said, I thought this sounded like a fun premise. However, for some reason, the execution just isn't that great. And I can't really pinpoint the problem either, other than that the humor just often doesn't land. Sometimes it does, but I'd say for the most part it just kinda falls flat. Like I can see where the funny is supposed to be, and why it's supposed to be funny, but it's just not. And I'm not sure where the issue is, if it's just the delivery of the comedy, the way it's shot and edited, or just the writing that's lacking that oomph that's needed. But something is clearly missing here, and as a result I found the whole thing to be borderline boring. I mean, it was still watchable I guess, and there were some funny stuff in it. But yeah, as a whole, it should have been a lot funnier in my opinion. Because the material is there, and the scenarios, the setups for the comedy are there as well. But it just doesn't quite work, and that to me is a huge shame. And you know what? The ending? Well, it didn't do the movie any favors either. Because sometimes with movies that end up being rather mediocre, they at least pull off a nice satisfying ending that wraps it all up neatly. And leaves you feeling pretty good about it in the end. However, that's not the case here. In fact, the opposite is true. And had they played this story differently, this ending could have absolutely worked. It could have been poignant and even funny in a way because of the point it was making. But in this case, exactly because of how they told the story, it had the opposite effect. It really didn't work for me at all, and actually ended up making the movie significantly worse in my mind. And this is one of those cases where I'd love to dig into it and break it all down. But that would entail some heavy spoilers, so I won't be doing that. But needless to say, I really wasn't too happy about where they took this story. Now that being said, I do see why they took it there and did what they did. But at least for me it just did not have the effect I think they were hoping for. And as I said, it didn't do the movie as a whole any favors. And actually ended up making the overall experience worse. So yeah, I don't think this is a very good movie, I think they really missed the mark here. But I still wouldn't call it necessarily awful, mainly because of the funny moments it did have. And I do have a soft spot for Anna Kendrick too, so there's always that. But yeah, would I recommend this? Not really, no. It just didn't quite hit the mark. So you can probably skip this one. Or don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.